What's up everybody, I'm Lockout, and in this video we are going to talk about pre-patch class changes for my boy, the Demon Hunters. Check this out. Won't you do a favor for me? Take your mouse and click the button, won't you subscribe to me? Lockout's providing the content that you see. I'm visually stimulating your mind, one minute at a time. All right, everybody, jumping right over here into this. Uh, if you haven't already, like, follow, and subscribe. This video isn't sponsored by anybody. It's sponsored by me and my Twitch. So go on over to my Twitch. The link is right over there. Ting. Or over there. Ting. Uh, well, yeah, there we go. Ting. <laughs> uh, with that being said, I am covering all the class changes for pre-patch for Shadowlands. And feel free to check out all the videos, guys, because it's uh, a lot for all 13 classes. And with that being said, we'll jump right over here into this now. And this is a sticky, and a link will be posted down below if you guys want to read this for yourself from the forums. Uh, newly created Demon Hunters are now going to begin at level 8. Immolation Aura is no longer a talent for Havoc and is learned by all Demon Hunters through their initial questing experience or at level 10. Awesome. Havoc, new passive, Unend Unending Hatred increases, increases maximum fury to 120. Blur now reduces all damage taken by 20% for 10 seconds. That was 35%, so that is a nerf right there. Metamorphosis no longer provides 20% leech. Soul Rending Talent will now return 25% leech to Metamorphosis. So this is a nerf and then a buff, so you have to actually buff into meta to get a 5% increase in this. Uh, Blade Dance will now, Blade Dance and Death Sweep now cap at five targets, so you can't AOE everything that's around you anymore. It's now capped at five. New Talent, Burning Hatred, Immolation Aura generates an additional 60 Fury over 12 seconds, so that's cool. New Talent, Unbound Chaos, replaces Fell Mastery. Activating Immolation Aura will cause your inner demon to slam into nearby enemies at the end of your next Fell Rush, dealing chaos damage. That's cool. I actually played that on PTR. That looks pretty cool how it, how it actually looks. <laughs> uh, new Talent, Glaive Tempest, launch two demonic glaives in a whirlwind of en energy, causing chaos damage over three seconds to five nearby enemies. I've seen this one on PTR too. This one looks pretty sweet. It's actually cool to play with. Uh, insatiable Hunger now causes Demon's Bite to deal 20% more damage and generates 5 to 10 additional fury. Cycle of Hatred now reduces the cooldown of I Beam by 3 seconds when Chaos Strike refunds fury. Was Metamorphosis, so now it is your I Beam. So this is how you're going to cool down your I Beam now. That's that's awesome, dude. Uh, Soul Rending Leech increased by 5%. It was 10, so that's a nerf. And gained an additional 25% Leech while meta is now active. And it was 10, so that is a buff. Netherwalk cooldown is now 3 minutes. It was 2, so that is another nerf. Dark Slash, this is a buffed ability right here. And it has been renamed to Essence Break. Slash all enemies in front of you for Chaos Damage and increases the damage of your Chaos Strike and Blade Dance. Deal that your Chaos Strike and your Blade Dance deal to them by 40% for 8 seconds. I played with this on PTR also. This one is OP right now. Uh, Demonic now causes you to enter Demon Form for enter uh, for 6 seconds when using I-Beam. It was 8, so that is a nerf right there. Nemesis has been completely removed. Uh, Fell Barrage is now capped at 8 targets, so that's another nerf right there. So Havoc has some nerfs and some buffs going on with it, but the way that it plays, it's, it's strong. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's really strong. Uh, Vengeance, there's a lot going on with Vengeance, so we'll jump right into this and try to cover this as quick as we can. Uh, Vengeance Demon Hunters now use Fury as a resource instead of Pain. That's cool, so now it's just Fury for both specs, Havoc and Vengeance. Demonic Wards increased uh, to stamina. Demonic wards increased to stamina and armor have been moved into a new passive, Thick Skin, which increases stamina by 65% and armor by 100%. So that's cool. Uh, Soul Cleave replaces Chaos Strike. Shear replaces Demon's Bite. And Infernal Strike replaces Fell Rush when selecting the Vengeance specialization. There you go. We, I think that's the way that it is now. Anyways. <laughs> Uh, Fell Devastation is no longer a talent and will be learned by all Vengeance Demon Hunters at level 11. Additionally, Fell Devastation now costs 50 Fury, so Fell Devastation is now baseline. We're going to be A-O-E-N, yes sir. Uh, soul Cleave now heals you for an additional amount for each Soul Fragment consumed. Cool. Soul Cleave now capped at 5 targets, so that's a nerf right there. 
Uh, the following targets have been, the following talents have been adjusted. A new talent, Infernal Armor, replaces Flame Crash. Immolation Aura increases your armor by 20% and causes melee attackers to suffer fire damage. That's cool. New talent, Runerous Bulwark, replaces Void Reaver. Spell Devastation heals for an additional 15% and 50% of its overhealing is converted into an Absorb Shield for 10 seconds. That's sick. New talent, Bulk Bulk Extraction replaces Soul Barrier. Oh, I like Soul Barrier. Uh, demolish the spirit of all around you, dealing fire damage to nearby enemies and extracting a soul fragment from them from the five closest enemies, drawing them to your immediate consumption. Okay. That's, that's new. <laughs> new Talet, Demonic. Fell Devastation causes you to enter demon form for six seconds after it finishes dealing damage. So, after you cast your Fell Devastation, you're going to go to demon form. That's cool. Abyssal Strike now causes Infernal Strike to create a Sigil of Flame. Ugh. And that's a burp. Abyssal Strike now causes Infernal Strike to create a Sigil of Flame when you land and its cooldown is reduced by 8 seconds. That's cool. That's the way that we have to spec into that now in BFA. So it's just a baseline ability now. Agonizing Flames no longer increases the damage of Immolation Aura. It now increases its duration by 50%. Beast of Souls healing increased by 25%. Charred Flesh has been redesigned. Emulation Aura increases damage now. Emulation Aura damage now increases the duration of your fiery brand by 0.5 seconds. And that is a lot of changes. It looks like there's a lot of nerfs and a lot of buffs that there's going on for Havoc. And it uh, looks like Vengeance is kind of just buffed all the way around. And the only thing that's really nerfed is kind of the uh, Soul Cleave is capped at five targets. That's uh, kind of really the only thing other than that. It looks like they've kind of buffed this a little bit uh, for Vengeance and uh, some nerfs and some bumps for the way that Havoc is. But again, the way I, I've played uh, played this on PTR Havoc anyways, and uh, it felt very, very, very strong. But that's just with the BFA stuff still with Corruption on it. So going to be interesting to see how this plays purely in Shadowlands. All right, with all that being said, I'm here I'm curious uh, actually to hear what everybody has to say, what your guys' opinions are. So leave your comments down below and if you haven't already, you know, click all the little buttons, help a fellow out, like, follow, subscribe. I'm lockouts. Peace. Won't you do a favor for me? Take your mouse and click the button. Won't you subscribe to me? Lock out for buying the content that you see. I'm visually stimulating your mind one minute at a time.